Hello and once again welcome back to another video review. I am the Tech Gooch and here I have a nice accessory again for my A6300 mirrorless Sony camera. Um, and this one's going to be a, 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 one of those accessories that most people that are going to buy one of these cameras are going to want to replace their standard neck strap. Now I've had several cameras with neck straps like this before or neck straps obviously that came with them before. But this one takes the cake for the most uncomfortable neck strap I have ever had on a camera. Um, so, thankfully, the kind people over at Peak Design sent me over their Slide Light, which is a neck strap that they build for their mirrorless cameras. The Slide, which they also have, is built for the full-size DSLRs, the Slide Light, for mirrorless or lighter weight cameras. Um, it is designed specifically in mind for mirrorless, obviously, but for cameras in general to give you a different way of attaching and a more modern and customizable way of hanging your camera from your neck or from your shoulder or from whichever. Uh, and so in this case, you have nice solid webbing um, attached to easy to adjust sliders, which attaches to these little guys. So these little guys are available uh, that come with it, obviously, and they allow you to quick and customizable even take the neck strap off if you want to. So if I don't want the neck strap off, I don't have to worry about taking doing much of anything. I just have to take it off, right? Um, if I was to say one thing in this specific circumstance, I wish that these were had maybe a little r amount of rubber around them so that they you couldn't hear them. Um, uh, swooping around but that said as long as you have your hand uh, in the area you keep them off of the, the camera you're gonna be fine um, obviously taking video is where I'm more thinking Photo photography is not gonna matter but video you don't want to have that sound going anywhere that'd be the one downside to these guys now most of the time actually I don't really take my neck strap off uh, I always use it because it's always my backup if I slip or do something i want the camera to not fall on the ground i want it to be attached to me so i don't really take it off uh, so now we're going to put it back in the traditional position right the position that well the next strap that comes with the camera you have your side positions here and we're good to go uh, but if you have paying attention you may have also seen this down here we're going to get to that in a moment uh, so obviously on the neck itself Nice and comfortable, to be honest. Uh, you have pretty solid webbing. A lot more comfortable than the, the Sony one that it comes with. Uh, one of my favorite de design features is these guys right here, which allows you to easily adjust. They have this quick aluminum little lever here that you lift up. Gives you something to grab onto. Uh, in this case, you're going to hold on to one of these and then just adjust it, right? And then once you're done adjusting, just clamp it back down. Now, they're not... These aren't holding anything. They're not locking. But they give you a really quick and easy way to grab onto the strap without worry, worrying about doing the whole of this stuff. Um, so you just grab on, you know, adjust, uh, and then you pull back down to make sure everything's adjusted properly. Um, in this case, you can also, so right now I have it in the standard position where it's going to, you know, screen is going to be above, uh, basically against my belly or side or wherever you're going to have it placed. Um, that's where this guy on the bottom comes into play. This plate on the bottom allows you to do a couple things. One thing, you can see I attached one of their little quick couplers here. They come with several, you know, four of these little quick connects, uh, three two, or three of which I have attached to the camera, then a backup that you can keep in the little pouch they give you. And I'm gonna show you everything else that comes with it uh, as well. Um, but basically I can unswoop that one and swoop it up to this bottom guy that I have attached to the bottom plate. And in doing so, I change how the camera is oriented. Now, the screen's up. The bottom of the camera is against my belly or side or wherever. And I have quick and easy access to just swoop up and take my picture, right? It's not grab onto it and bring it up. It's just grab onto it naturally and bring it up. Um, really works well if you're going to keep it on the side. So, like, for instance, if I have it over my shoulder like this, and, of course, I can loosen this up and bring it down better. But now it's a more comfortable position. It's a more natural position to have the camera in. So, um... And even in this, so you can see how I can slide it. I can just slide it around and go. It's a lot more comfortable than if I was to, well, let's see, I can show you real quick. So I'll disconnect that one and reconnect here. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable than this lens sticking out and doing this whole thing. Um, it's just, it's neat, it's very ergonomic. 
other s wonderful thing about this bottom plate is that it is uh, ARCA compatible for certain tripods um, as well as if you're the proud owner of their capture series devices which allows you to hook a camera on your belt or backpack strap or anything else that you can clamp this thing down on it also allows you to easily set it into that as well so if I have this on my pack like up here if I have it on my belt you know down here I can actually adjust this so it's now on my belt like that carrying down and you can tighten this down so it actually doesn't rattle and does it can't come out a lot of things you can do with the capture device so if you ever uh, I will actually post a link to this on to the side here uh, on the cards to my review of the capture and the capture pro so check those out but the this neck strap is so much nicer uh, than that Sony strap it's hard not to just love it of course right out of the gate favorite thing about it though is definitely the customizable feature uh, if you know you're gonna use it just as a standard neck strap you don't have to put this on it comes with everything to 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 do I guess to to per set it up nice little sticker of course that's always a must right on uh, extra one of these guys which is their anchor the little anchor they even tell you how to know when to replace it because they have uh, underneath this black layer which does have kind of a coating over it so it doesn't um, let go very easily I mean it, it, it kind of keeps its shape so if I have it anchored uh, even if I loosen this up it's not gonna get really loose and eventually fall off by it on its own they have a leather sh yellow sheath underneath that that you know that it's time to replace and then if you eventually break through that yellow sheath and gets to the red it's unsafe and it will break so just so you know they give you the nice Allen wrench the Allen wrench is designed specifically for the bottom plate here which also has a screw uh, screwdriver uh, port as well but they give you this nice little allen wrench to take it off or put it on um, in the box it doesn't come with the anchor port attached to this uh, one of the wonderful things about this plate is even with this anchor plate attached to one of these four corners which have holes for the, the anchor plate to attach to uh, even on this capture device it doesn't matter oh, geez, I'm going the wrong way. It doesn't matter which way I do it um, even with the anchor point there, it will still get locked into place. So it works just fine no matter where the anchor is set. Um, and then the nice instructions on, on how to use it with beautiful illustrated portions on, on what it does and how you can use it. And yeah, so that is the Peak Design Slide Light. Uh, I want to say thank you again for Peak Design to sending these out to me. Uh, because it's pretty awesome, but I will tell you that this hands down beats any customizable strap I've ever used before. Um, obviously, there are more comfortable straps out there that have a whole bunch of padding and everything like that, but for its simplicity, you're not going to ruin the padding on this, right? If it starts raining or whatever and this gets wet, it's not going to do any damage to this. Um, the only thing you could do damage to is the camera itself. So pretty awesome. I love it. I love how robust it is. And I love how it works with a whole bunch of other systems, including everything that Peak Design makes. They kind of make it all fit together. So it works together. So thanks again for Peak, to Peak Design for sending that over. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe to the channel above. Uh, let me know over on uh, our social media. Hit us at Facebook or, te or Twitter at TechGooch. And if you head over to the techgooch.com, we'd appreciate it as well. Just check us out there. We'll, I'll slowly build that up again. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.